Team coverage continues now with the protests outside the Broward election headquarters. Protesters are upset, as Joan reported, over the pending recounts. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is there live with that side of the story. And Ted, dozens of people have been protesting since this morning. Yeah, Rudy Bay and Elliot, a lot of these people have been out here throughout the day. Uh, the crowd's getting a little bit smaller right now. You can see it uh, back over there right now. Uh, the, uh, as we said, the crowd has gotten smaller. We've been hearing chants from each side, one group complaining about the lack of transparency at the supervisor's office, among other things. The other side wanted to make sure that all the votes are counted. Supporters of Ron DeSantis and Rick Scott staging a day-long protest outside the Supervisor of Elections Office in Lauder Hill. Stop the steal! Stop the steal! They allege voter fraud, charging that ballots are showing up out of nowhere as the count continued here. We're calling for a shutdown. This is voter fraud, and we're not going to take it anymore. 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 They want election supervisor Brenda Snipes to be booted out of office. This woman is corrupt. She's a criminal, a career criminal, and she needs to go to jail, and this needs to be shut down. Congressman Matt Gates from Fort Walton Beach wants the state to take over. And the Secretary of State needs to put the Broward County Supervisor of Elections Office in a state of receivership under the state because we cannot allow this to continue to be the banana republic of Broward County. <laughs> Later in the day, the Democrats arrived, carrying Andrew Gillum signs. As votes are counted in Broward, his race, along with Senator Bill Nelson's race, is getting closer. They want to make sure that the count continues. I want my vote counted. I'm trying to get motivation so people can understand. Let them count the votes, and then we'll go from there. Another live look at the crowd now. This protest has been going on for about seven hours, so uh, all afternoon today here in Lauder Hill. Uh, throughout the day, a lot of people have been yelling back and forth at each other, getting right into each other's faces, but the good news is there have been no fights and no arrests. Live in Lauder Hill, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.